8 Steps to Replace a Boat Floor, Make It Effortless Step 1. Get your tools and materials ready. A set of tools are required for this boat plywood floor replacement project. If you gather boat floor replacement materials beforehand, the task becomes more accessible and faster. You can consult an expert if you are confused about the materials needed for boat floor replacement. Here I listed some best materials for boat floor replacement. Plywood board or plank. Circular saw. Plastic sheet and marker if you make a template. Epoxy resin. Measuring tape. Drill machine. Fiberglass sheet. These elements are required for this project. Added to these, depending on the damage done, you may need some other tools for repairing the flooring. Step 2. Prepare for the replacement before replacing floor and boat. There are some tasks you need to do. To start the project, some preparations are required. As part of the preparation, there are three tasks to do. Put the boat on a cradle. The cradle stabilizes the boat on its platform so you can work on the deck without trembling. If you don't keep the boat on a cradle, it may move during the project and create a disturbance. Next, check the transom. If it is damaged or fragile, you have to fix it first. As the transom faces pressure and impact regularly, it can damage, and you must fix this before the floor replacement. For checking, put pressure on it and look for a creaking sound on the wooden platform. If you hear the sound, check it and repair it. The last step is to empty the boat floor to start the project. Starting from the cables and machine to your belongings, remove them all and get ready for the task. Now, we can move on to the next step of this project. Step 3. Make a boat floor template, optional. If you are ordering a specific flooring from a company, you would need to make a boat floor template. The template is made by laying a plastic sheet on the deck and marking an outline. Take a marker and mark the outline of the deck. Also, make notes of the areas like console steering, holes, hinges, etc., and write on the sheet for clarity. Click photos of the template or send the template to the company. The company will take references from the template, digitize them, and send you the flooring you have ordered. Step 4. Remove the existing flooring. Many DIers know how to replace boat flooring, but they don't know how to remove the existing one. Now is the turn to remove the existing flooring to install the new one. To remove the existing flooring, you need to cut through the surface to divide the flooring into sections. Then you can easily pull off each section and remove the entire flooring. However, this mechanism may vary depending on the flooring you have. Use a circular saw to cut through the flooring. Be careful of the depth you are running the saw into so that you don't accidentally cut the hull. Generally, 5 8 inch depth is the right measurement for cutting through the flooring. Be very organized about removing the flooring. Don't cut haphazardly. The old flooring must be carefully removed and stored until the new flooring is installed. The old flooring can be a good reference for making the new flooring. So keep it for the next steps. Step 5. Prepare the plywood. To install the new flooring, you must prepare the plywood board or planks. As part of the preparation, you first need to know how many planks you would need. For that, measurements are required. You can either refer to the boat floor template or take new measures. Measure the width and length of each section of the boat from the bow to the stern. The width will vary as per the shape of the boat. So be very cautious while measuring. Make notes of the measurements and cross-check the number with the old flooring. This way, take accurate measurements. Then put this measurement on the plywood board and start cutting and shaping the planks. After cutting the plywoods, use oil-based paint to paint the planks. This makes the planks water-resistant, increasing the longevity of the flooring. If you want to change the stringers, you change them now. You should make the frame solid and stable when installing the new flooring. Hence, this is the best opportunity to change the stringers. Step 6. Install the new flooring. Now is the turn to install the plywood that you have prepared. Before you lay them, apply epoxy resin on the deck and let it dry out completely. Epoxy resin leaves a waterproof layer on the deck, protecting the plywood flooring from water damage. 
Next, drill holes in the spaces where you would fix the plywood. The last holes can help you direct where you need to nail the planks. Also, choose the direction of the planks beforehand. The ideal direction is to go across the length of the boat. Now, one by one, lay the plank and nail them. Also, attach the planks with the help of cleats to the starboard and port. Done with installing plywood planks on the entire deck. If yes, let's go on to the next steps. Step 7. Lay a fiberglass mat. No matter how durable and water-resistant the flooring is, you would need to lay a fiberglass mat on it. Fiberglass sheets are waterproof and protect the flooring and keep it intact. Besides protecting the flooring and giving a smooth and glossy boat flooring. After you lay the fiberglass mat flat on the flooring, apply epoxy resin and seal the flooring. This settles the mat or sheet on the flooring. Let it dry out completely and now the flooring is ready. Note that you should lay two or three layers of fiberglass matting for the best result. Hurrah! Your boat floors replaced perfectly. Step 8. Reinstall the items you have removed. Now set all the cables and materials you have removed from the deck before starting the project. Be careful while connecting the cables and machines. You may take help from an expert. Quick tip. While disconnecting the cables before the project, you can note down which part was attached to which part and which machine. This will help you to reinstall the machines easily. How do you fit a boat floor? In the task of boat replacement, many may wonder how they would fit the new flooring in the boat. To crack this, keep following the steps mentioned below. Tie a string from the center of the boat straight to the center of the stern. With a marker, mark after every 16 inches from the boat to the stern on the string. Next, from each mark on the string, measure the width from the string to the starboard. Double the measurement to get the whole width of that portion. This way, keep measuring the width from each 16-inch mark. Then measure the length by dividing the bow into three sections right, center, and left. Mark these sections, and from the center of each section measure the length. Transfer the measurements to the plywood board. Then cut and shape according to the measurement. This is how you can fit the boat flooring. 